Jacobson Marketing Art Flea. So before we get on to making boards, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how many pins you should have for each of your products. And the reason I want to do this is because it can feel like I should be able to make one pin and have it go crazy, but that isn't how it works. So I just wanted to give you some of my real numbers from the back end of my Pinterest account, which I haven't done. I don't want to like sit there and go, oh, I get a million impressions, but I get a million impressions a month. Um, I have everything kind of going up. I get um, almost all my traffic to my blog from Pinterest for my one blog, my baby blog. But I wanted to show you some real numbers about why it's going to be important for you to um, make extra pins. So this is a hilarious pin. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, can I click on this? Okay. So I was in a little phase of making all different styles of pins for my pins, right? And I made this hideous purple pin, marketing artfully, like, I hate this pin. It's gotten in the last month 20,000 impressions and it sends the most traffic to this post. Okay. I have beautiful pins for that post, but that's the one that Pinterest people like. Here, I'll show you some of my beautiful pins for that post because I have beautiful pins for that post. I don't know if I, oh, here it is. Look at that. How to get your very first listing. So cute. Here's the ugly one, and people like that. Now, does that mean you should make all ugly pins? No, because look at this. I made, oh, here's another one I don't love, but here is one to my baby site that is, why won't your Alzheimer's and dementia parent, patients take showers, right? So that one has 60,000 impressions, 3,000 link clicks. Now, are we going to get that kind on um, on a Etsy product? Probably not. But I wanted to show you that there's, and I'm trying to keep this so you can see it. There's all different kinds of styles of pins right here. This isn't even my pin. This isn't my pin. This is my pin. So Traveler's Notebook, that's a picture I've taken. So that's very much like my, um, and that's taken on my product um, photography board. Um, this is a different one for real estate marketing that I don't know why they love it so much. God bless them. Um, how to make, okay, so here's a different one. That's very popular. Got 12,000 impressions last month. So you can't really figure out um, what's going to be popular. There's the other one to get your first listing. Um, here's another way to make pins. What you want to do is what we talked about and go look at the search results for whatever you're selling, whether it be vintage, handmade, digital. Go look at the search results for what you're selling and see what Pinterest thinks are good pins because I think when I got over the idea that because most of my pins used to look like this. I almost all my pins looked like that. And then I was like, okay, fine. I'm going to try to make the ugliest pin in the world. And it wound up being that one, that purple pin that gets 20,000 impressions a month. So you need to get over the fact that you have a concept, that you have branding, that you know what your store is supposed to look like. You want to really focus on the fact that Pinterest does, I mean, like they do this all day long. They split test two different pins. They split test two different, you know, at, at a rate of millions a day, I'm sure. And then they show the ones that are most likely to be seen. So you want to make Pinterest happy and you can do that by making your pins similar to what they already think are cool pins on Pinterest. So kind of a light day. I just real oh, and the question of how many pins do you need to make? I like to make four to five. That's my minimum. Um, it's super easy, like especially when you're doing it. Um, at a minimum, I would think you could make three. I would prefer five. 
So please make five pins for every one of your product listings. Remembering one of them, like some of them are just going to be the same picture as your uh, product pictures. And just a few of them are going to require a little bit of things. But don't forget, once you have your canvas set up, right, you don't have to make them out of thin air anymore. Now you have your Frida jacket background. You have your railroad. Like this could be one of the things that I use all the time and I just swap pictures out in. So literally, you could be spending 10 or 15 minutes to make Pinterest pins. Don't get nervous and think that this is going to take all your time. Once you have those templates done, it's going to be very easy for you to launch that. So three to five pins. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Art Fleet. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up that you liked it. And if you like videos like this where we talk about Etsy or we talk about marketing or Pinterest or creativity, please make sure to subscribe.